Yo, it's your boy Straight Boss over here from Straight Smoke Gaming. Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Here we're doing one on Saturday just because, well, we needed to get this done. I had a lot of clips saved up for this series of videos where we're starting Red Dead Online again in 2021. This is kind of like a beginner's guide. This is chapter three. Chapters one and two will be linked in the description, so make sure you check those out so that you can get all caught up to where we're at. But in... Uh, very few words where we left off with chapter two was buying outlaw pass five even before any rolls yes that's correct even before any rolls and my rank was in the mid 40s somewhere in there and i bought outlaw pass five before any rolls i know it sounds like a mistake but i play daily and i'm able to make up for that mistake and i did so knowingly because i grind that's what i do I did that to the Stranger Missions in order to afford the Outlaw Pass. And there you can see I cashed in on the 10 gold bar rebate for getting it in the week that it came out. And here I talk about, about you know, I say on the channel on some Red Dead videos about mistakes that beginners make. This is one of them. I caught myself doing it. I still had, uh, straight, I still had story missions to do. Um, at least the honorable ones because I'm going to be an honorable cowboy. Yes. All right, and by rank, you know, 50 or so, it was time to shop. I had to get these overalls off. It was definitely time to give up on those. Um, you know, a couple weeks down the road here, great week. This is why I bought the Outlaw Pass, because I knew rolls would be going on sale right after the Outlaw Pass, and I had treasure maps saved up. I had rewards to reset. My daily, cha my daily challenges were hitting 0 .15, 0 .2. And you'll see here later on the video, 0.25. So I was making great gold. So you can see there, I'm up to 36 gold bars. And then a week came up. I think it was two weeks after the Outlaw Pass came out. The Collector Roll and the Bounty Hunter Roll were both on sale. So I picked up both of those rolls. And I spent 20 gold bars on doing such. Now because the bounty, there was a great week for the Bounty Hunter. And um, I made sure I worked hard on that roll because I wanted this right here. I wanted the bounty wagon because if you're going to be doing bounties, you want to do multiple person bounties. And if you're a solo player, like I am most of the time, not all the time, but some of the time, but if you're a solo player, you need a bounty wagon. And this week it was on sale. So I made sure I got my roll rank up there before the weekly update. And I didn't have a chance to get this on sale. So I saved my roll coupon. I'll be talking about that. That roll coupon you've seen there. Um, I saved that for a later purchase. Here I just want to talk about speaking of coupons. And one of the key things here that I want to talk about. Is know when to use the coupons. So you can see here. They're giving me a 30% off a of stable spot. But look at the cost of my next stable slot. It's only $150. I got four grand. No problem. I'll buy it with cash. I am not going to use that coupon for that 30% off 150 bucks. Look at these stable slots, what they cost later down the road. $500, $750. I'll use that coupon later down the road. You know, Rockstar kind of, you know, they kind of bait you into using stuff. I mean, if you don't, if you're not thinking, you're going to end up spending more money. And that, they, they, they like that. That's their, that's their racket they got. And here for collector, I got the collector roll, and I got the shovel because I needed it. You definitely need the shovel. And I was like, eh, I'll hold off on the metal detector, okay? Well, no. The very next day, I was back here. You can see here, I am on, I'm earning 0 0.25. I'm earning the good gold. I, I want to get these objectives. I want to get the roll objective to get the bonus gold, hit all nine, uh, nine roll objectives there so i get the bonus gold for that as well because i'm on the good gold right now at this particular time so yes i went ahead and i spent the money to get the metal detector not on sale it sucks but that's what i had to do yeah also in that clip there you'll see also we purchased the naturalist roll the naturalist roll was on sale either a week or two right after bounty hunter and collector were both on sale at the same time now, the naturalist roll, I don't recommend. I planned on getting the naturalist roll last because, honestly, it's it's the least. I mean, you know, I mean, it's fun. But as far as 
grinding and making money and all that stuff. It's the least. But I was also on 0.25 gold, so I needed the naturalist roll anyway. So yeah, I went ahead and did it. I dropped the gold on it. So you see there, I even do, you know, the 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 PvP, um, you know, objective, the daily challenges as well. I normally don't touch on those just because I suck at PvP, so I shy away from them. But hey, I needed gold. I had to do what I got to do to get the bonus. And there, I showed a clip of me. Uh, rank it up collector collector so easy to rank but I also I lost the clips of me purchasing the trader roll but I did get the trader roll um, as well I spent full gold on that because I was tired of waiting for it to go on sale so I got I spent the full gold on that got trader roll I needed money and boy I was glad I did get that trader roll because this week right here has set me up this might be the most defining week of this whole series of starting Red Dead Online. Look at all those sales. Sales at your camp. Sales at the fence. Sales on sidearms. Sales on ponchos. Yes, ponchos. <laughs> okay, and um, I did a spending spree. I spent a ton of money, and there was so much things, so many things I bought. I made a separate video all about it showing everything that I purchased from what money I started at and what money I ended with. There'll be a link in the description. You can check out the spending spree that I did with this second account, this character starting Red Dead Online in 2021 all over again, just as a beginner. So now, yeah, this is really shocking because I spent some coin. Oh, yes. <laughs> Go. I subtitled that video, The Spending Spree Going Broke, because I almost did. I went down to the nitty gritty there. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, overall, from chapter two of this series to up to where this one leaves off, I've I've done good. I've got all rolls except Moonshiner, which I did get Moonshiner, but I didn't include it in this. I'll include it in chapter four. But I finally got some sidearms. I was rocking the sawed-off shotguns forever. I was waiting for sidearms to go on sale. Pistols and revolvers were on sale the same week. This was a huge week, and it got my character uh, a lot of necessities. Like I titled this video, Rolls and Necessities. I got rolls, and I got some good guns, some sidearms and everything else. Bounty wagon, good gold. Everything's going great. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Chapter 3 is all done. Chapter 4 will be coming up in a couple weeks. Consider subscribing for more Red Dead Online content. We'll see you in the next one.